All right, so we're in here with our, I've just brought in a bucket of chaff. Hang on, little piggy, I'm getting there. Um, and I just wanted to show you what we're up to with um, sort of just getting her to associate us with good things and not being scary. And this is the first time she's actually kind of walked toward me because before it was immediate run away. She's thinking about running away. And we're just gonna get Tuggy to go a bit closer to that bucket so I can throw into it. Come on, Tuggy. You can see she just moved away a bit then, but what I'll do is just put the bucket, I'll put the bucket over here so no one can nick it through the fence. And just move it out further so she can thinking about the stress, looking and chewing. We saw on that foot. So that was quite a significant change today. Um, that she's walked toward me, and um, while I'm still in here, and quite quickly too. The first day I started doing this. I had to walk out and totally leave the area so she couldn't hear me and then sneak back, <laughs> poke my head around the corner to see whether she was eating and at the start she wasn't. Um, so this is really nice to see. But this is literally all we're doing at the moment. So having her, you'll see when I go to walk out, you'll see what a big deal this is for her having me in here. Yep, straight away. I went to walk and she went, ah, what are you doing? So I'm just going to walk out. Good girl. So I have to be careful about how I do this because I don't want it to be um, negative reinforcement where I'm, I am, well, it is at the moment, unfortunately, where I'm taking away myself, which is the scary thing, but have her start to associate me with good things. So I'm always bringing food. Um, whether it's bucket or hay net and just letting her watch Tug and the other horse, <laughs> Kobe the pest. Kobe is another Brumby. All right.